So we have a note taking app and we can enter new notes and and when I enter them they get put in a list and the problem is right now it just kind of throws each item up there um, with no line breaks or anything so it's really a poorly poor user interface right so let's let's fix that um, the first thing I'll do is we've got this kind of header label called label one that just says notes and let's make the font size a little bigger here like 20 and let's make it bold and as you can see the it makes it things look a little better at least um, uh, giving us a header okay but the main thing we need to work on here is um, let's display each note on a on a separate line and it, it takes a little work um, right now we're using the default display for a list which is basically just set a label the text property to the list and and then it just dumps all the items of the list um, what we're going to do instead is let's let's just as we get each note um, let's just add the new item to the label um, and leave uh, the whatever's there already okay so I'm gonna take away this this note list here and instead what we're gonna add to the label each time is kind of just the new item we want to add the new item to what's already in the label so I'm gonna go grab a make text block and you can think of this thing as almost like addition for strings or addition for text and what we want to do is say put what's already in the label plus the new item okay um, so I'm gonna go grab a reference to uh, the the new item okay and and uh, for now we'll put it on bottom and let's put what's already there um, first so I'm gonna put first what's already in the label so in this case it'll have all these notes and then I'm gonna put an inline character and in computer science there's all these control characters and for whatever reason backslash in is for a new line character so if I put a backslash in there and then I add the new item I'm basically saying let's put all the stuff that's already there then let's put a new line character and then let's put this new item that just got submitted um, and let's let's see what happens okay so I've I've changed my blocks let's put this emulator up and let's add a seventh note and submit and you'll notice okay cool that the seventh note does come on a on a new line okay now this other stuff is is as it was and, and the, the problem is you know we, we we listed all this stuff before before we had the new line character so really what we need to do is kind of restart so I'm going to connect to device and choose the emulator and it says you're already connected do you want to restart the app and yes so I'm going to restart it and in fact when it restarts it's going to come up with no items because this list we're building is not persistent okay it's a variable in memory that has a bunch of items in it but it starts out as blank when the app starts you know as the app runs we add stuff to it but if we restart the app all that data is gone um, so you know one thing about variables like note list is they're transient um, when you close the app and reopen it all, all of that data is gone okay so let's see I think our app has started notice yeah there's nothing nothing there okay so now I'm gonna try it again and um, I'm just gonna put some notes in I'm just chilling okay and that that showed up okay okay now I'm taking a nap and let's see if that thing shows up on the second line yeah it's it's looking looking better right so I've got my first note my second note and I think if I have a third note um, it should show all all the notes on 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 different lines so things are things are working out pretty pretty good it's not beautiful but at least now I'm displaying items on separate lines